Oscar, are you hanging out with your brother? What's going on everybody and welcome back. We're actually uh, sitting on a 385 Pursuit. This is a 2014 and the owner takes exceptionally good care of this boat. So what we're going to do is take a quick look at it and then we have to change some bilge pumps out for the customer. So let's get started. <music> We'll start from the back here. We have triple 300s on this one. It has regular hydraulic steering. It's got joystick because it has the sensors. It's a Yamaha style because it's not Optimus because they're not joined together. Yeah, you can tell this boat's going on nine years old now and everything in the boat's immaculate. I like that it's got this blue, blue colored panel dash too. Raymarine stuff, it's different from what we usually see. Everything in this boat is nice. Definitely takes good care of it. Let's turn on some batteries. Like the Intel Pursuits panels here. Still the same over the years. These gauges have changed a little bit. And the switches have been updated over time. But basically still the same thing. Let's get some lights on in here. Ooh, nice. We got the railing light like they still have now. This has got like the marble counter finish. It's different than the new stuff. I like that. Basically the same design boat over the years. Oh, it's got the same marble with the bowl sink. Nice. There we go. You full shower. Bathroom here. A little different wood. A little darker wood than now. Yeah, so you can tell the uh this is a little bit different. Our cushions are different styling now. But we still have the same uh, same table that moves up and down. Turned into a bed. We got our AC panel. Already plugged it in and got the batteries charging. And our normal stuff here is the microwave, fridge and freezer, and all the usual amenities. AC everywhere. I like their pillows. Let's turn all of our lights off. We'll go out the back here. Let's go down in our builds and see what we got. Here's our Fisher Panda. Basically still the same build setup as before. Now we don't have these controllers. New Yamahas don't have any of this stuff. Or Optimus slash Yamaha control unit here. So let's find our bilge pumps. My guess is that they're back there in the hole. There we got our flashlight. We're going in, Captain. Squeeze in here. The air pump is all the way in this hole here. It looks like fun. So there's a high water alarm right there at the top. You can see the auto float. And there is, barely see it. There's our box for our pump. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, so we have two different pumps here. One is activated from the dash switch and this auto float here that we just tried. And the other one is just for our high water secondary backup. But the customer says he wants to change them both no matter what. So let me get out of this hole here. I'm going to go get some parts and everything that I need. We'll be back to uh, start taking this apart. We look for what do we need? We need two of these. One, two. I don't want two water witches. I don't want those, those style floats. I'd rather have the... Uh, that's it. Two of them guys. Thank you. Welcome. All right, we got a few things we need now. Let's jump back on the boat here and we'll go back in the hole. So what I do is try to pull these pumps and everything out of here. That way we can get it all wired up. We'll get it all wired outside the boat, not inside here. So we can just set them back in here. Should be easier. First things first, let's see where our wiring leads us to. We're gonna unplug all of it. So here's our bilge. That's that rear pump right here. And 
you got all these cross wires and everything here that's for uh, jumping your uh, grounds and your floats together that's what they use all these for you leave all that so basically all this right here so it plugs in here we go so all of this harness right here we're gonna try to keep all this It'll be the same exact thing let's see if I can reach in here and get this hose undone here I don't know if I can reach the other one either oh difficult to get to let's see if we can get our auto float off of this we're not going to be reusing that we're going to attach the other one to the pump our new one we're already back here so there's no reason to reuse this old stuff we'll update everything to the modern field sensing switch style that we were using which is the water witch there's the float since we can get this tube off of here Sometimes if you twist them, you can get them to, there we go, there's one, Let's see if we can get that other one off, oh good, that one came off easy, now we should be able to just pull this stuff right out of here, So yeah, we can reuse these bases, no big deal. They're still solid. Let's get our new pumps wired up. All right, so we have our old and our new pumps here. The first thing I'm gonna do is spin these wires on a drill on all my components. Because what they do is they use the split loom in order to keep all this together, which I don't like doing because this seems to want to hold water, especially being in a wet area. So I eliminate this and we're gonna twist these wires. You can do this a lot of different ways, but basically just stick your wires on the end of a drill, hold them tight. I always hold onto the actual pump side so we're not twisting anything into the pump housing. And you just spin them, just like that. That keeps your wires together. Now let me finish my uh, other water witches here in this pump. All right, so we got all of our wires twisted, our new auto floats. I always recommend this one and not this one because this is a field sensing switch which water has to contact here and here in order for it to uh, activate the pump. For these, see how they get dirty, they can hang up. They seem to be uh, a little more problematic. These are a little bit more money but they seem to work the best and they hold up a lot longer over time than these. These will fail probably within the first two to five years depending on the uh, how clean they stay they're usually in a nasty dirty area so we'll start with this one take this clamp off here so we can uh, reuse the clamp and put a new float on the new one you can see too if you look right here this wire this black wire actually goes to this float right here someone changed out this because these have three wires they have a ground on them so somebody at one time replaced the water witch with this box style one, which I don't know why they would do that. Maybe they couldn't get this, but uh, we're gonna put this style back in it. We just cut this stuff at this point, doesn't matter. The only thing we're gonna be reusing is all of our uh, Deutsch connectors here. There we go. This is over on this side over here. Put our new one up over here. Tighten that down, that's our high water. If water gets this high, we've got more problems than uh, these pumps, I think. It also makes the horn go off if this, this water which gets activated. Wake you up if your boat's sinking. But first we need to see how this thing was wired. 
so we can mimic exactly what they have here so we can reuse our Deutsch connectors. Get all this tape off first so we don't wire it the wrong way. We'll make sure that we're doing it the right way. Okay, so looking at this, here's our bilge pump wires. And they go here and here. Right to this side and to this ground side right here. So let's do those ones first. We'll pull this cap right here. Check to make sure there's no corrosion or anything inside of our cap. Everything's good. Pull this off. And our brown wire right here. We're gonna undo that one first. See this guy that's got a little inside here is a little tab. Of course, they're pressure washing in the background right now. That's what all that noise is. We pull that out. We're going to put our new one in that same hole. So we have our twisted wires here. And we have our new little Deutsch connector end. And our special tool to crimp her down. Dun, dun, dun. Get right in the hole. And that's it. Now, we can stick this back where the old one was. There we go, just like that. Now we got our ground wire right next door to it. Give it a little unwrap so we got room. Find the right wire, there it is. Do that one more time. There we go. Put that one back in its home. No, this pump's gone. And now we have the auto float that was attached to the top of the pump right here. Which is these guys right here. So instead of me boring you with uh, doing this about 10 more times, I'm just going to finish what I'm doing here. Get these all wired in. And we'll go back in the hole. Well, there we go. We are all wired up. Everything is good. Let's get them installed. Let's start with the furthest one to the back first. That's the one that doesn't have the uh, float on the top of it. Double click is good. Make sure our hose goes on. All right, we gotta loosen this clamp a little bit so we can put our auto float on this one. So that's where we're gonna put the new one. There we go. Let's get our new one in the hole where she goes. There we go, that's basically it. You just put it on the clamp. That way when the water rises up to this level, it will activate that pump. Plus we can make sure it works when we plug it in. They have a self test function. So we should plug this one in and it should rub the pump. Then when we plug the high water one in next to it here, we should hear the horn go off. So let's tighten this down before we get our other pump in our way. There we go. Now we can put our other pump in. Just sneak it by everything here. This is fun, you got no access barely. I'm on my knees, my head hitting the top here. The joy of working on boats. There we go. We're wiring. Get that over the top. Keep everything up off the ground as much as possible. I mean, nothing's in the water or sitting in the water. Let's get this hose on here. And there she goes. Tighten this down, and we can plug them in and make sure they're doing their job. Alright, that one is tight. The moment of truth. Let's plug them in. So we have this pump right here. So here's our solo pump. Should be able to plug this in by itself. And then we'll activate our uh, auto floats and see what they do. I guess it doesn't matter which one we plug in first. Let's just see what they do. I can hear the pump run there. 
plug in our other one. And that was our normal one. This will be our high water right here. I'm just gonna make it yell at us. Yeah, it works. So both the pumps are working. Now we can tie our wiring up here. And there we go. We got her all tied up. It's coming up and over so nothing's laying in the water. And it's all tied up here. All looks good. Everything is working. Well, that being said, I'm gonna get myself out of the hole here. Get everything cleaned up, call it a day. As always, I appreciate everybody watching. I will see you next time. Later. Going to get the bad guys.